What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to have the next part of our Insomniac v. John Bubniak uh, storyline. So, you know, I never intended, honestly, this to be, or I never thought this would be this drama filled. I'm not really a drama channel. Like, I've talked about Johnny Depp stuff, I've talked about that, but that's very linked to personal stuff. I really, you know, I love Johnny Depp's work. Pirates of the Caribbean obviously means so much to me. This started as just a story that I thought would be really interesting to cover, and it's honestly ballooned into a one you guys have really supported these videos so I, I really do want to thank you guys for that as always make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turn on we also have a discord server if you guys want to join the discord server we have an entire category for marvel stuff so if you guys want to carry this conversation over there that would be awesome but all of that stuff is in the description below but i do again really do want to uh, say thank you to all of you guys for all the support you've shown uh, in these videos it's crazy. So, you know, last we picked up, this is really a story. It, I mean, I make my videos kind of to tell a story. So if you haven't watched the last two, uh, last time we talked about John Bubniak, if he'd be returning to Peter Parker, the time before we talked about the drama, how it's hit like an all-time high. Well, it's hit an all-time high again uh, over the last couple days. This again came from that Gavin user. We've talked about him before. Seems like a great, great guy. He, he finds these kind of things. Now, some of this stuff also got sent to me. So also, you know, if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, podcast now 15 is my Twitter handle. Some people sent this over to me. I said, well, obviously I'm going to make a video on this. So here's what we got. Last time we talked about this, James Stevenson, who is like a PR, he's like, he's like the head of marketing of uh, Insomniac. He basically went on to claim that John Bubniak did nothing, that you know, for the past several years, this is, I mean, I laugh because it's funny in almost an alarmingly stupid way. He said that, you know, John Bubniak didn't basically do anything. And for the last several years, we were always led to believe that he was the face, not just, and we've talked about this before, right? He's not the face like they used his face, paid him, and that was it. Like they did with uh, The Last of Us. Again, I, I brought up that example. Dina in The Last of Us Part Two. they used the face, the likeness of, of a, a person. And they paid her. She's like a model. She's an actress on her own. But they paid her, and that's it. And then they had Shannon Woodward do the the actual acting for her, okay? So that was it. But for John Bubniak, from what we know, from what people have even interviewed him and said, that's not, you know, that's not what happened here. He actually did all of the stuff. He talked, he did the acting scenes, and then they took his voice out and put in Yuri's, okay? And by the way, final thing I'll say before I get too far into this, again, like I'm not a drama channel, and this is any, and, and I really do want to make this point heard. This is not even about the face, okay, because I know when I make these videos, everybody in the comments always says, you know, they either hate the new face, love it, or sometimes I'll see people say, like, why are you still talking about it? What you need to, I think, understand, I don't even know if people get this far in the video to even hear me say it, this isn't about that. This is simply about Insomniac or him, is John Bubniak or Insomniac is majorly lying. It's like the lying scandal of the decade for the gaming industry, okay? That's what's going on here. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care. I mean, I have my opinions on the face change. I truly don't care when talking about this, though. This is all about we've been led to believe something, and it's either Insomniac doing something really crazy or John Bubniak doing something really crazy, okay? So that's what these videos are in case anybody says anything. I will, you know, relay them to this part of the video. So James Stevenson says, as I've noted, he did a couple, maybe three days of test captures in an office. None of the performances were used in the final game. He wasn't at any of the 80 plus days of performance capture shoots. So that's big. Remember, we kind of heard that where it's like, well, and James Stevenson even said, like, well, maybe he was in a few, then he was in no and, and remember, this is what that Gavin on Twitter was saying. Like, it started where he did all the face, then it started where he did some of it, then it's where he did some of it, but they got rid of most of it, and now it's he did three days of stuff, and they either threw out everything else, or he was just never there in the first place. Then John Bubniak responded to him and said, well, that's absolutely untrue. And then he said, it is true. I've talked to everyone from direct to talent, to art, and animation on this. I'm not trying to create drama, but you are misinformed. 
I mean, I don't know how you can tell the person that you're claiming wasn't there that he's, you know what I mean? Like that, that's another thing where it's like, who even says something like that? Like what's interesting here is this, this James Stevenson is all over the place. I don't know him. I'm not saying anything negative about him. I'm also probably not going to say anything positive about him. It's up to us to make our own opinions. But what I will say about him is like that statement is all over the place, but there is some believability there because if he really did talk to all of the people that were working on the game, well, I mean, there's not, you know what I mean? Like it's one man versus many. Yet again, we've seen that situation in lots of different things where the many are trying to push a lie. So I'm not saying like just because he talked to say, let's say 10 people, just because he talked to 10 people and they all said something doesn't mean that they're the ones that are right. It could be in this case, quote unquote, like the underdog. You know what I mean? Uh, but the fact that he says, I'm not trying to create drama, which this whole thing was, he didn't really start it, but there was a lot of people that started it, uh, but you are misinformed. But again, like He's John Bubniak is misinformed. He was either there for three days in an office or 80 days. Like, which one wouldn't he know which one he was at? You know what I mean? So that doesn't really make any sense to tell him that he's misinformed. Because if he's misinformed, well, does he have, like, amnesia? Like, can he not remember these things? Then there's this other guy, uh, Autumn. May it's just, I think, a random person. It's already been shown that he didn't do any actual scene that was used. Yeah, I guess giving uh, credits is fine, but he just didn't do much for Peter Parker. Like, if there was any cartoon show made for the game, John wouldn't be involved at all. It was all Yuri. And they said, that's certainly not true. I spent tons of hours doing all the scenes, facial expressions, and actions. Now, here's the deal. And I, you know, I took, so when all this stuff was happening, I took pictures of them all because I was afraid that, you know, maybe things would be taken down and all that stuff. But number one, that's kind of mean to say to him. <laughs> number two, but number two, what's maybe alarming if we're on the John Bubniak camp, which I would say, if you're asking my personal opinion, I would lean that I kind of believe him more. But here's what I want to say. You know, uh, I, I get him saying that's certainly not true. That's fine. I spent tons of hours doing the scenes, facial expressions, and actions. Now, you know, Evan Falarka is the one who told me that, and he interviewed John Bubney, okay? and I think a lot of people here on the internet probably know who Evan is, right? Uh, you know, and he said that, like, when he talked to John, John's the one who told him that he did do voice stuff, and they took the voice stuff out. So, but one thing I want to say is, why did he say, I spent tons of hours? Now, you know, you can call me conspiracy theorist, you can call me whatever, but if you were there for 80 days, don't you think you would say that you spent like months doing it? I spent ton I spent months doing all the scenes, facial expressions and actions. Instead he said I spent tons of hours. So he could mean tons of hours each day for several weeks, for several months, but it doesn't have to mean that. You know what I mean? So you know, uh, I took a picture of this. I took a picture just mainly because he said that he, he did the scenes, facial expressions, and actions. But I never really pay attention to spent tons of hours. It's a little odd that he would say hours. And we have two more things. So uh, I believe the thing I just talked about is what led to James Stevenson saying that he only did, you know, a, a couple days of stuff. But John Bubniak responds, I honestly, I, I mean, it's two James, as you can see here. So whose emotions are reflected in the game? And then we have somebody else that says, do just stop. Like I said before, you're spitting in John Bubniak's face, and, and you'd be lying by spitting in all of our faces, too. I've completely lost all respect to you, and they did it to James uh, Stevenson. So again, it, it's, it's honestly confusing. Because I think there is a lot of misinformation here. I do feel like the more that things go on, the more that maybe it is possible that John wasn't there for as long as was originally talked about. But again, everything is so like backwards. And then him saying, you know, like whose facial, you know, whose emotions basically are in it. Like, they're him, and I guess maybe he's saying that because it's like, well, if he only did a couple days, how did he do all of the face work for the entire game. You know what I mean? That's a lot of scenes. That's a lot of hours. You're going to need, you don't need three days for that. In fact, you're going to need months of that. I, I just from what I even know, right? You're not going to be able to get however many minutes of, of action, basically, he was in in these cutscenes. You're going to need a lot of time for that. But then you you put that with the, with the idea that James Stevenson is pushing that he wasn't there, basically, as much as he's saying. And then again, it seems like maybe even John Bubniak is trying to distance himself from it, more or less like saying, well, I was there for a lot of it. Maybe I wasn't there for as long as I have been saying. Like, I don't really, at this point, 
I don't really think anybody is like a perfect angel here. Obviously, it is a case. I'm not denying this. It is a case where it seems like this company is doing John Bubniak dirty. Okay, I don't think there's really any. I mean, yeah, you could look at it the other way around. I'm sure there's some people that are, and that's fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not telling you who to choose. Okay, that's what I think overall is happening. But I don't think John is some like perfect angel here because his answers. I mean, I guess I'm, I was going to say they're not perfect. Well, can anybody's answers be – if you asked me a question and I didn't give a perfect answer, like could you nail me on it later? Yeah, probably. So it's probably something that I'll learn in the future too. But the way he's answering – also makes it kind of confusing as to how long he was actually doing stuff. But then again, the biggest thing, and again, I go back to this for, for what these videos are. I don't care about the face change. The idea is what the heck happened here? Because for years, and this is the biggest thing, for years we were led to believe that he did all of this stuff. And he was there all the time. And he, I mean, just the amount of work he put in, everybody put in, and Yuri put in, all that stuff. Everybody put in a lot of work. And now here we are. And again, the narrative has shifted to, well, maybe he put in a lot of the work. Maybe he actually didn't do anything. Maybe they only used his face and then changed stuff. Um, you know, how many days was he on set? You know, wh what? You know what I mean? And, and and now there's kind of debate on that, even from him, it seems. But it's like two years ago, we were led to believe that he just did all of it, that he was the face actor, that he was acting. Okay, because he is an actor just on the side. He is an actor. Uh, but, like, you know what I mean? It's just very confusing, and it, it just goes to – Obviously, and this is my this is my conspiracy theory. And if you guys have watched the other videos, you would know. You know, you I guess you've heard this before. Something obviously happened internally. I think Sony had a big say in changing the face. Okay, and again, it's not about the face change, but hear me out here. They changed the face. They made it, or they made Insomniac change the face, and they couldn't give an actual reason as to you know why you would need to change the face because maybe it was because they wanted him to look like Tom Holland, whatever. And they told Insomniac to basically make up your own reason. You know what I mean? Do your own thing, and they did, and they did a terrible, terrible job at. It. They also did a terrible job of distancing themselves from John Bubniak. Now, yeah, it's not oh, it's not going to be a perfect separation in this case, but they did probably the worst job that you could ever do on on mankind okay in the history of mankind so that's the issue here the issue here is a lot of misinformation the issue here is it seems like both of them are lying but it doesn't for the the thing again i'll give john credit for is even if he is lying for some of it it doesn't really matter because i think that tweet that final tweet where he says like whose facial expressions are being used that's the biggest thing because whether he was there for 80 days 75 days five days he still, I think, had a big part of the game that I think Insomniac over the last several months has just completely forgotten about. You know what I mean? Where it's like, well, he, again, like he did some stuff. Oh, now he did nothing. Oh, you know, his face, well, you could just take his face off. It doesn't even matter. You could just have a blank face and it would have still been Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Like they've gone so far backwards. You could have had the Assassin's Creed Unity face, okay, with no face. You could have had that. It would have scared children. It would have given them nightmares. But it still would have given the exact same performance as, you know, John Bubniak. And that's kind of where Insomniac and John Stevenson have gone, where I, I don't know how you get so – I don't know how you got so far. You know what I mean? It's been a really, really weird road. So – as always, I will continue to cover this. It's, I mean, it's fun. This is an interesting topic. So if anything else happens, definitely, I'll, I'll definitely cover it. If you guys see anything, again, ra ways of reaching me, Discord, Twitter, all that stuff is in the description below. Best way of supporting me, though, obviously, subscribing, hitting that bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you all on the next video.